Being on the farm right. where I was born, 1943, January 27th. And the doctor had to come from the main road where the, they got the horse and buggy as the story goes. So. Now that would have come from Middletown, I guess, right? The doctor was, I believe, Dr. Harvey back then uh, in 43, because as I got older, that's the doctor I went to until we moved to Cromwell in 55, and didn't need any more, didn't have any more use for a doctor at being a teenager. Uh, do you realize half the people here, this story took place before they were born? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah including definitely. me, by the way. <laughs> Wow, you are determined. Killer instinct. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, nice. Somebody fired on him. Oh. Sean, how's it doing under there? Great. Okay, so kid. Boys, don't. No hitting on the face. So good. How are you doing? Uh, I think I'm doing a little better than you. You look like you're in a. Ow. Yeah. This is a madhouse. Um, all the kids were playing here near the shed, yep. right here. And I checked on her, and she was fine with all the kids. And then I went to feed my son, Stephen, who was only three months old. Sorry, Marge. And um, when I finished feeding him, I went to get Donna. She was born. Oh. Not good. Was this summer or winter? This is 4th of July. Oh, okay, so paying, yeah. she's not going to freeze to death. No, but that little rascal walked all the way down the driveway, mm. across the highway, and went to Wadsworth Falls State Park. Well, it is a beautiful park. <laughs> not good. <laughs> Fall down a little bit. <laughs> oh, we did a lot of kickball and sliding, of course, every winter with sledding, you know. We used to have a blue boat <clears throat> that we used to go sledding in, it was huge. And uh, I got stuck one time underneath the, the station wagon, just as Mrs. Kutzkowski was poking her head out the window and going, where's Tony? <laughs> and I was, I was stuck underneath the station wagon, so everybody was looking, mm. You mean really physically wedged? Yeah, the boat wedged itself underneath the car, so then they, they had to pull me back out. Did you lose some skin? No, no, I ducked just in time, luckily, but it was funny because just at that moment, Mrs. Kutzkowski poked her head out the window wondering where was I. Dude. Tony, that so, could have taken your face off. Oh, it could have taken, it could have decapitated me. Was, um, a, a cheerleader and that wanted to go to high school. She already goes to high school. And um, everyone thought she was really great. And she was. And she went to the gym and she started practicing. And overnight. And, and everyone liked her. The end. Oh, you know what? That is one of the happiest stories I've heard. This is the first time I've seen cheerleading with uh, oak leaves, I think. <laughs> right? How <laughs> about to do that?
Well, I, there's a, at the end of this row, there's a bush that I don't think is still recovered from us sledding over it. We used to use it as a ramp. How's that water? Good. It looks really nice. Here, yeah. with my friends, fishing. It's a pretty sweet life, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, now, I think JT caught some fish. Yeah. Did you see that? Uh-huh. My little sister caught a fresh lot of clam. Oh. Are you ready? Are we going for Look up, say cheers. Cheers. What do you think about the water? Oh. Well, that was refreshing. <laughs> it's wet, isn't it? <laughs> that was a splash in the face. Yeah. <laughs> 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 to tell. I could use a little air. So John, I'm shooting this from a vegetarian point of view. <laughs> By keeping the angle low, we don't actually have to see <laughs> the dead see. products. <laughs> but you know what, just for you. Alright. You know what that reminds me You ever see that whale wars? cemetery for Uncle Al. Um, they presented Uncle Ted with the flag, I think yeah. you'll remember. And Paul and Lisa um, were able to create this beautiful flag holder that's engraved. Could you read it what it says, Paul? Uh, Elvin J. Klikowski, November 16th, 1928 to March 13th, 2012, Korean War veteran. Oh, nice. So that's for you, Uncle Ted, to put the flag in. Thank you.
Yeah. Oh, they're not going anywhere. They're still in. They're going to stay in here. Oh, you've got uh, the shells, huh? Yeah, they're in here. How many do you have? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh.